Round one. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got some more Centurion, man. So, this is going to be a little bit different, guys. This was actually from my live stream. Uh, you can follow me uh, on Twitch. Link will be in the description. Definitely um, come watch the live streams. I know a lot of you guys are missing it. And uh, you don't want to miss them. Definitely come uh, join me. Link is in the description. To follow my Twitch. So, we got a, um, got a little special thing going on. This is a, a post commentary because there is no way for me to record my audio and have the quality still looking nice. But we're going to get we're, we're going up against this guy named Critical Delay, right? And for the life of me, I just kept running into him over and over and over again. So we got a nice little series going on. So he picks Glad first, as you can see. Get the nice clean execution with Centurion. Beautiful, beautiful round right there. And I've been enjoying Centurion a lot lately. I'm going to get him to um, rep 7, I believe, to get the Batarian. So we can have Batarian back finally. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully we can get him there near Marching Fire. Nah, it's, it's going to be a little bit after Marching Fire because that's the whole six more reps I got. So, But yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting what goes on in this match, man. It's um He... He goes through his list of um, assassins, and I, I basically just beat him up, and got some, got some special at the end, man. <laughs> it's just something a little special at the end, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So we get the nice clean pin right there. Give me that 35 extra damage, and I just fell in love with Sin again, man. It's just land, landing that pin, getting that cutscene. I know, I know it sucks when you get cutscene. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I hate when I get cutscene, but when you're the one doing the cutscene. It's amazing. There's only a few things I would add to Scent though. I would definitely make his punch and kick viable because right now it's very, very easy to dodge the kick and the punch. If you make those viable in his kit, I think he'll be a perfect hero. I think he's, honestly, in my opinion, I think he's fine. Like, Centurion is, um, I would say Centurion is just an average hero right now. He's just missing that kick and punch in his arsenal and he'll be perfect. They don't, the devs don't need to like really fix him or switch up his move set. But then again, there are other Centurions that are more qualified to speak on this topic, but that's just my opinion. Well, we get another clean pin, man. But I didn't think, right there, I did not think I was gonna land it. But um, knowing Glad, I should always be ready because his guard can drop at any given second and you can get that pin. But we get another clean execution. This is my favorite execution by Sent. So far, at least, the one out of the ones I have. That's why you see me using it a lot in this uh in this episode. All right, here we go with game number two. Now this game, he chose the Rochi, tried to switch it up on me. He's glad it wasn't working out, but we get that clean parry. Now I could have knocked him into the wall right there, but I did not think that it was going to actually uh, reach him. But now looking back at it, yeah, I could have definitely got it. And there I go again, getting the pin and just not converting because I'm just thinking people are going to block it, and I just got to always be ready for that. But we got a pin right here. Get a clean round. So yeah, this is the part where um he starts. I don't know. He he kind of get he kind of starts to get a little angry. I could feel it's not visible in the um in the actual in this actual round or this this game, but you could just tell nothing he's doing is really working. So I'm lighting them right here. I tried to go for a nice little um, two lights and then charge it up to see if he would try to parry, but he actually hit me out of it and got some big damage. But he's not. I've noticed he's not getting the like the most damage he can out of every situation. And I fell for it. I knew he was gonna zone me right there, but I just I just fell for it. I I kind of second guessed myself and then I forgot all about the zone. Round. So right here, I just gotta buckle up. Try my best. Ooh, land that. And the thing with Orochi is, once he delays those lights, it's like kind of difficult to block him. But we get a zone parry and a pin for big damage. That's huge damage right there. It's a total of what, 85? And we catch him trying to parry my um my heavy. 
change the timing of those heavies guys Victory. all the time all the time always change the heavies go from go from slow honestly you you, you can't go wrong by keeping them all slow and then occasionally doing the regular speed you can't you, that works too I, I was doing that for a while and that really really worked but you you'll be surprised guys trust me you'll be surprised at the amount of heavies you'll land by just going as slow as possible with the heavies and as you see here we got a nice little um pounce but i don't really know the out of stamina punish i'm still trying to learn it a lot of people are saying you need, you need to do a backwards light and then charge up and you can get a full pin but i'm not too sure i gotta practice that I definitely gotta work on my centurion game but that is game number two all right game number three so he decided to go back to his orochi kind of didn't go so well for him the first time but I, i'm guessing he felt a little confident so just got to do our best to see if we can take him down again now that zone right there he, he did catch me but like i say man charging up that heavy against parry happy people <laughs> it's it's like the kryptonite man as you can see like this guy he goes for so many parries as, again another parry attempt well i don't even know if that was a parry attempt because he wasn't even on the same guard guard direction as me but as you can see we interrupted him at least got the pin and as you can see throughout this entire video like he goes for so many parries and that's just ultimately his downfall just going for the amount of parries he went for I wouldn't go for that many parries against Centurion. I would only go if you're confident, confident that you know the timing of which the heavy's coming out, then I would parry. Or just wait until he's actually in the air to parry. That's a good time to parry as well. But all the parry happy people get destroyed by Centurion. Nice two-piece combo he hit me with. Ooh, caught him again trying to parry, and that is it. That's the game right there. Well, that's the round. Another thing to note, Centurion's out of stamina game is very bad. It's extremely bad. So what I like to do is when I get someone out of stamina, I just go for the um, chip damage. You can get about you can get about four heavies in if you're already in their face. You could just do the fastest heavies four times. You can get you can get a quick 20 damage. That's what I like to do. But if you feel like your opponent is trying to parry out of stamina, change up this timing. You'll be surprised because I've, I've actually caught people out, like trying to parry me out of stamina and I've hit them for a nice 25 damage. But as you can see here, he has me on the ropes actually. He, he tagged me a lot this round and I'm just trying to like focus and come back basically. I could have knocked him to the wall, but I wasn't expecting him to like, after he get parried, I didn't expect him to move to the left again and I could have kind of kicked him into the wall. He might have landed on it, but uh, I still try to try it anyway. And right here, I'm on the verge of the feet, but I get that clutch parry and the nice execution. This ex this uppercut execution, I love it too. I don't know what I don't know what it is. I, I don't really don't know what it is. I just love playing Sin again, man. All right, guys. Now here we go. This is where he brings out his warlord. Now when I when I saw warlord. I already knew what was going on, man. I already knew. Whenever someone like resorts to Warlord, if they, if they don't already play you with Warlord and they switch out, they're losing a lot and picks either Warlord, um, Kong, who else? Um, Shinobi, depending on their playstyle with Shinobi. You already know what's going on. So this guy's obviously mad at this point. And I'm just getting pins after pins. <laughs> Just trying to just trying to play my best game, you know. Um, Warlord is definitely a threat, definitely. Like you gotta respect the headbutt, you have to. But then again, don't be don't be too afraid of the headbutt to the point where you get caught with random guard breaks because you're dodging too much. As you can see there, that's his that's his biggest downfall by far. Him trying to parry way too much. If he were to just block my attacks more and take the five chip damage and wait until he knows that I'm gonna do something. He would have had a way, way better opportunity of beating me. But instead, he got greedy, tried to get a lot of parries, 
and that led to his downfall. Whenever you guys are fighting Ascent, don't be afraid to just sit there and block. Do not be afraid, especially if you have someone like Warlord who can just headbutt. I wouldn't parry if that was the case. There's there's no there's no point. As you can see here, he's, he's trying to he's trying to run a, run away, and do the little kite thing. I, I I'm guessing he's trying to kite me. Look look at him running away again, trying to charge at me. He got he he gets the parry, nice. Cause he knows I'm trying to attack him out of it. But um, this is just when this is just a failed attempt at the unlock kiting, whatever you want to call it. Um, that whole strategy is just just a failed attempt, man. This is when kiting goes wrong. Or when unlocking goes wrong, you know he's trying to go back into that crashing, ch crashing charge. He knows he can't. He, he, see, people do this when they can't, um, when they can't fight, you know, straight up. That's for lack of better terms. <laughs> but uh, you understand what I'm saying. When they can't actually beat you by, you know, parrying your attacks, by uh, outguessing you, they just, you know. Crash and charge you. Or slide, you know, but Shinobi. That's just what happens. But as you can see, you know, I'm putting in work with the Centurion. Nice solid victory. Round three. Now here is where. Oh man, this round. This is this is kind of funny. I'll let you guys watch. So he's sizing me up. Yep, he sized me up. And boom. <laughs> yep. And he's emoting. So at that point if you guys want to watch this live you can see my reactions you have to go to my twitch channel link is in the description but uh my reaction i was like okay that's how you want to play that's fine so if i if i know now he's trying to throw me off he's trying to do anything to win i got to be careful of my surroundings so there are two ledge spots in this uh map or i believe four there's some in the corners but we're not going to look at those because you're rarely in those corners so two the one the, those two openings to my left just gotta watch out for that so if i keep my um back towards that little uh other side of the map i should be fine right now i'm in a bad position my back is towards the ledge so i have to get out of here so i'm just trying to keep the pressure up so he's not able to do anything and i'm trying to find my opening i didn't want to dodge because if i would have dodged and he would have guard broke me would have been dead so now i'm just trying to ease my way out there we go boom roll route Trying to crash and charge me. I'm rolling. I'm trying to be safe. Just trying to be as safe as possible because I know he's trying to cheese me. Mm, with that guard break. Unfortunate. I should have never did that though because he was backing up. We get that. We caught him trying to parry again. I'm just trying to hit, land a light, trying to catch that head, but before he even does it. That's why I'm throwing out lights. Just trying to catch him, trying to headbutt me. Boom, kick him. And then the and then the zone. Remember guys, if you if you kick him and his guard is not in the left, you get a free zone. Boom, just like that. Here we go, guys. The final match that I have for you. This is not actually the final match. But after this, I was just done recording the games because I this is the only person I played. But as you can see, he's actually tagging me quite a bit here catching me trying to solve faint but i'm going i'm going to commit now now that i know he's trying to parry me again i'm going to fully commit to the charge and there he goes he does the warlord dance <laughs> and completely whips his own and tries to parry me again that's a no-no man got me a solid win Also, guys, if you do like these post commentaries, let me know. I could possibly arrange more for you, but um, it will probably be on special occasions or something like that. But here we go. Round two. See, I don't understand. I just never understand why he why he tries to parry so much is it's literally getting him killed. He should just he should just block or, or full guard. That would be even that would be a not the best option, but a. I, I guess a better option because if I do commit he gets a punish mm, caught him parrying again so he gets that solid parry on, on that light that was very very smart of him 
boom but i kept him trying to guard break him. i'm just trying to i'm just throwing out lights trying to catch him either guard breaking like that or doing a headbutt simple Round three. So here we go, round three. Back to my usual strats of just charging up, seeing if he was going to parry me. And I was, okay, now I was kind of showing off. I'm not going to lie. I was trying to see if I could catch him with a uh, unblockable heavy, see if, see if he would fall for that bait, but it wasn't working, wasn't working. Tagging him up nice. But he gets the parry on me. <laughs> now I'm really feeling it. Centurion does not have a lot of health. Like, if you're going up against large healthful characters, it's kind of tough. Like, especially like Lawbringer, uh, Conqueror. And then there again, I'm, I'm trying to just do the most and yeah, I pay for it. That's fine. And he gets the emotes. You know, whenever someone gets one round on you, they're going to emote. It happens. You just gotta, You just gotta seal the deal and finish him off. That's how you uh, shut them up. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, large health pool characters, they're tough. They're tough because when you get that um, 60 damage pin, it's like they still have a whole nother health bar. Like they have so much health left. It's like you did nothing to them. It takes like two or, or maybe even three just to get them in that critical condition. I'm just I'm just trying to play safe right now. I'm not gonna do anything that'll make me lose because that's a that's the last thing I want. The last thing I want is for him to get a win on me. I don't want that to happen. But you see here, there we go. Just changing up the timing of my heavies. Finally caught him. But yeah, like I said, I played him one more time. He chose Kensei. I, I still beat him. But uh just didn't feel like recording it. But uh hope you guys enjoyed. Again, you can check out the entire stream over at my Twitch link will be in the description and I will see you guys later. Peace.